Okay, well I did some research on this this morning and determined that uh, the guy at Hyundai Marhofer where I bought the oil uh, was incorrect in telling me that the oil filter is under the hood. Uh, it's actually under the car. I'm going to have to remove the splash shield and get to it. It's on the bottom of the engine. So I pulled out the dipstick so far, took off the oil cap. It's fairly close to operating temperature so it should flow out quite nicely. Drove the front up on ramps. Um, found out that the way this V8 is designed, the car has to be level if you want to get more than half the oil out. So I used the, couldn't find anything better than the differential to jack on. So I raised it up and it's, it's about level. It might be, a, might be a little lower in the back. I don't know, that looks pretty level. So I think this will do. But I'm gonna crawl under there now, get a light, figure out what splash panels need to come down. They figured out on this thing six years ago to put a little trap door with a Phillips screw. Door flops down and there's your 13 mil drain bolt. 3 Series isn't like that and I don't believe this is either, at least not in the video I saw online. Uh, there is a hole there. I'll check that out, but I don't think that's where the drain bolt is. Uh, looks like we're gonna have to pull all this crap down. Okay, this is weird. So there's two pieces of underbody uh, held in by about 58 10 millimeter bolts. They're all rusty under here already. Um, the oil filter thing is right there and it's a 28 millimeter. What a weird size. So my kit goes 22, 24, 27, 30. No 28. Well, grandfather gave me a ton of tools about five years ago and a one and one and one sixteenth 12 point did the job and I hate using the 12 point on plastic especially um, but it's such low torque it's 25 Newton meters so it's not that bad but there's the filter it's a tiny little filter it's half the size of the one in, a, in an M54 um, but I'm not sure how I'm gonna torque that down it says right on there 25 Newton meters I guess because my, my half torque wrench won't go to 28 newton meters or 25 newton meters because that's only like five pounds or something. I might just go hand tight on that. Um, that's the first part. So it turns out the underbody tray did leave an opening. I'm assuming that this is the oil pan right here and there's a bolt on the other side of that. Feels like maybe a 17 right there. Um, and they left an opening for that, but you have to take it off to get to the filter. So why leave an opening for that if you have to take the pans off anyways to get to the filter? Who changes oil without changing the filter? Probably a lot of people, but I'm not one of them. So that's kind of like half-assed, but whatever. They came down fairly easily. And there's actually a Phillips screw, the final thing holding in, which is kind of nice actually for removal process. You take all the bolts out, and then you back the screw out two times and it drops down in your hand. So uh, I'm gonna get the new filter on there. I guess I'll drain out the old oil first. And uh, this is going pretty well so far. It was a 17 millimeter that came out with uh, very little struggle. That's really thin oil. Um, this car uses 5W20, and obviously we're using full synthetic. Um, I'm used to working with like 1060, even the 530 felt light, but um, yeah, 520 bubble. So in the oil filter kit uh, came a little plastic bag. In the plastic bag, there was a crush washer for the drain bolt. This is the old one. I already have the new one on the cleaned up drain bolt. It came with a gasket for the oil filter itself, the oil filter housing cap. Uh, I put that on there, lubricated it in oil and put that on there. It also came with these two little, little O-rings here. I don't know what those are, where they go, or what they're for. One's thicker, one's bigger and thinner. I have no idea where those go. Um, I got the filter in right here and it's probably down to more than five newton meters but i gave it a good turn and it seems to seat down there this is still draining um there could be an o-ring in here this looks like a hex that would come out to drain the filter housing here i might pull that out and see if there's an o-ring on it and then it's probably one of the two there's probably two different designs the six and the eight cylinder maybe use the same filter but different rings although i don't really want to mess with it but I'll probably pull it out and see what's in there. So here's that little drain plug and there's an O-ring on it. So uh, it looks like the smaller of the two. I'll pop that off and put the new one on. All right, that's back in. Uh, well, I'm still waiting for these final drops of oil to drip out 
right there. Uh, we'll give you a little tour. It's a weird looking oil pan in this. It's a totally different material than the upper pan. It's held on with a bunch of 10, 11, or 12 millimeter bolts. That looks like some sort of an intercooler right there. That probably is right on the oil filter housing here. Um, I cleaned this up a little bit, but it is surprising that this car's got 9,000 miles on it. It's four years old. Uh, it's been driven probably on no more than 20 winter days. It's not going to focus for me, but there's a good bit of rust under here. Nothing that would be concerning to, to rigidity or anything, but I am surprised at how little this car has been used at how much rust there is. And there's very little here in the front. Uh, the rear subframe, all of the side, the pinch welds on the, on the rear subframe have uh, visible surface rust, like right there too. It's, it's worse in the back. Um, again, it's not going to be a problem for many, many years to come. It's just surprising to me, but um, I'm going to put that thing back in, button this up, and then fill this thing with a bunch of oil. This car has those weird, um, like, carpety fender liners for sound absorption, and they're really flimsy. Uh, but I guess they do their job. It's a continental radiator, or at least that component of it is. Uh, everything's pretty clean under here. Very, very different from a BMW suspension, though. Um, weird to see how Hyundai does things, but there's the steering rack. Uh, I can't really tell what that is up there. It kind of looks like an alternator. It's not, though. It could be AC compressor. It's 4.30 already. I don't know how. I've got five hours on the Genesis now. Uh, it's very clean. The oil's done. I checked all the fluids, topped off the washer fluid. Uh, I had to add a quart to the engine when I first started it after the change. Wow, beautiful focus here. Um, first started it after the oil change, it made a bunch of noise and the red light came on the dash for oil. And then about 10 seconds later, it shut up and the light went off. I guess it had to fill the filter housing. And that's where that extra quart went. But I took six out, put six in, recycled the old oil. Uh, spray wax the whole thing. It looks This car looks really good when it's clean. Especially the back, it gets really dusty and then the white car turns brown, so that's... I don't really like white cars all that much. They look nice when they're clean, it's really hard to keep clean. And now I'm going to bitch about a tan leather interior. You probably can't really tell, but this seat is not at all the same color as the rest of the interior. It is uh, a lot darker, especially right here and right here. When you wear jeans, any sort of pants that are not white, uh, the dye comes off on this leather and discolors it pretty badly. And I've already, uh, it's, you know, it's got 10,000 miles on it, so I probably did it at 7,000 miles. I went over and, and did, um, I think it was Meguiar's leather pilot, leather uh, cleaner and conditioner on all the interior. Now the back seats are fine, nobody rides back there, but the front ones get pretty bad. So I'm going to get some Z9 on that real quick and see if I can clean that up. I took the rubber mats out, washed the rubber mats, put the rubber mats in the trunk. The license plate stuff's under there, so it's in the car. Extra quart of oil's in there. Um, kind of getting this ready to sell, or, or uh, you know, we don't use it that much, so we're gonna get rid of it in the grandparents' houses for sale, so all of that. I vacuumed the interior, now that looks real nice. But uh, it's really hot and really dry, and I'm watering again. I just watered uh, the whole front for like six hours a couple of days ago before I went to Pittsburgh, and. We're doing that again. My yard's the only green one, but it still feels dry. So I'll try to do half the seat and I'll show you a 50-50 a split in a minute. Wow, look at that. That's 10 seconds of rubbing with uh, just some Z9 and a, and a disposable towel. Look at the 50-50 on that, brown versus tan. I'll show you how easy this is with the Zeno Z9. I'm not a paid representative, although I wish I were. Okay. Liberally apply, hold your breath for a second, let it soak, let it penetrate the uh, fan and the, all the stuff in the seat that we're about to break. There's a little bit of rubbage over there, get the bolster. Here's what the towel looks like, this is just a white towel. Look at that. Night and day. I'm gonna do the backrest now. I may or may not have gotten carried away watering. I got four hours and two locations done today. I'm gonna keep working on it tomorrow. What I've done is nice and soggy. Everything else feels like you're walking on toothpicks. I um, spent about over two hours sitting here in front of the computer doing video editing. 
I have three YouTube videos that I got up today. Um, yesterday's vlog, a 2005 intro for the source that will publish Friday, and finally part three of the rebuild, which will publish tomorrow on my car. All right, guys, I'm tired of work, and it's 12:20 a.m. I'm gonna head up to bed. I uh, got a ton of stuff done today. The Genesis oil change, clean up. Uh, did everything but clean the front. Front wheels were, front wheels are, are worse than the back. Uh, I've got to go up and take a shower. I feel like a pig. I'm still wearing my dirty crawl under the car oil change clothes. Um, caught up on the vlogs. Did some E39 source. Tons of emails and uh, submission videos and and uh, the part three, which will publish tomorrow. By the time you see this, probably. Um, tomorrow I'm going to look into tint on the Genesis. I'm going to get uh, the alignment hopefully corrected at 1 o'clock. A um, bunch of crap like that. And then I'm going to hopefully be able to be cut up enough by Wednesday to go to the pool and have a relaxed day. And it looks like even the, even the cat's getting ready for bed. Smelling the same thing that's been here and not changed for 10 years. The life of a cat. Alright, talk to you guys tomorrow on Tuesday. Good night.